Hey man, before we start this video, y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all hit that share button. Okay? We about to get to a thousand subscribers. And we, we hitting that like button. We hitting that share button. We hitting that comment. We hitting them comments. Let's go, man. Hoods be in their TV. Big favor. Big abundance. Let's get into the video. What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is being there. Welcome to Hoods Being There TV. Big favor, big abundance. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the brother of black youngster. Okay, gunned down at the BP in Memphis, Tennessee. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, you know, if you ain't been paying attention, it's been all over. Black youngsters, brothers been gunned down um at a gas station in Memphis crazy situation um this isn't the first brother that he's lost to violence he had another brother that was killed in miami and a lot of speculation being has is this behind the beef with Dolph, right like we don't know that we don't know what it's about because in all honesty man that smoke in memphis is up okay right now memphis ain't the place to be in regards to if you got beef you know what i'm saying like guys out there they not playing and um, it's just one of them situations where they caught him lacking at the gas station. And um, they went on ahead and got Buddy up out of here. You know what I mean? And regardless of any situation, man, first and foremost, we want to send prayers and condolences out to Black Youngster and Black Youngster family, right? But this is another one of them situations where I try to tell people the energy that you put out. Not only will it come back to you, but it'll come back to the people around you, too. You feel what I'm saying? Now, I don't know if Black Youngster Brother was in the streets or not. I'm not 100% sure if he was or wasn't. I don't know how he was moving. But if he wasn't in the streets, then this is a sad situation. You know what I'm saying? It's just a sad situation. And what Black Youngster got to understand is, you know, everybody knows that he's allegedly tied to that Dolph situation. He was suspected of another attempt on Dolph life at CIAA in Charlotte, where he they, he allegedly shot at Dolph's um, Sprinter van a hundred times. Dolph van just happened to be bulletproof. Um, he ran up, he shot it up a hundred times. And that's where Dolph made that song 100 Shots, right? They arrested Black Youngster and two others for that. And they end up letting them go, okay? Because Dolph wouldn't come and testify and speak on the situation and say it was Youngster. They both decided to leave it in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if that's the route that you're going, that's respectable. That's honorable. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, what does all this senseless killing lead up to? What does it lead up to? You feel what I'm saying? now if i'm black youngster my family can't even stay in memphis they can't even stay there you know what i'm saying he's supposed to been here moved all of his loved ones out and got them up out of memphis if you know you in that type of smoke because just because Dolph gone key glock still alive kenny money still alive all them guys they still connected to the streets and got real steppers and them steppers is out here y'all been seeing all these bodies been dropping lately you feel what i'm saying uh hernandez govan daughter you know what i'm saying got killed snooty wild a lot of people saying that that's in you know speculation that that's connected to this cmg pre situation you know what i'm saying and um that's pretty much what's going on man so it's been a lot of and not to mention all the bodies that's probably been dropping then this alleged bounties out on guys alleged bounty out on grove hero alleged bounty out on kenny money alleged bounty out on key glock you know what i'm saying so these these bounties they put money on guys heads and they having these young guys in the streets with no hope you know execute on these bounties man because they looking at it like it's money they don't need i don't even know if it's necessarily about the smoke they looking at it like shit if i hear him i can come up on 70 or 80 hundred thousand you know what i'm saying so it's all senseless violence but i've been saying this from the get-go you do not take out no boss like Dolph, and it don't be no repercussions for that okay it's gonna be a lot more spinning and drilling and killing behind this situation now that they didn't took off youngster brother you know youngster gonna want to get some get back you know he ain't finna just let that ride you know but not only on top of that he not gonna let it ride i know he under investigation from the feds you know what i'm saying are you are like 
it come on now you know what i'm saying you know youngster under investigation they got hernandez govan it ain't just no situation where he just able to just run free that's why he been laying low you know what i'm saying so i don't even know if he really can get no get back because it's like trust me you know them people on him you know what i'm saying so he might have to take that one on the chin or he had to find a creative way you know what i'm saying to get some get back but i honestly in all actuality like what does any of that prove at some point man somebody got a call for it and just be let it you know what i mean let it go somebody gotta just say look man we need peace in the streets there's too many bodies dropping crime rate up fentanyl out in the streets people either ODing or getting killed somebody gotta somebody has to you know at some point take it upon themselves and just say you know what we gotta let this go we gotta we gotta let or, or it's just gonna be up forever or it's just gonna be up forever it's never not gonna be up everybody gonna have to look over their shoulder while they in memphis every single day you feel what i'm saying and if that's the case then it's like y'all making not only hell for yourselves but for everybody that lived there because trust me these boys be having dracos and switches on glocks and everything 30 rounds in there it ain't just the it's just not the ops that's getting hit you know what i'm saying it's plenty of innocent people that's getting hit behind these situations so you know it is what it is man i just want to see that peace in the streets and see that healing but you know you just never know you know this is a deep situation man but, uh, you know, I'm going to definitely keep y'all tuned in, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. It's the God, Hoods, Billionaire, Big Favor, Big Abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. It's the God, Hoods, Billionaire, Big Favor, Big Abundance. I'm gone.